Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I am gonna try giving you some tips on how you can optimize different games or maybe optimize your gaming PC. So, tip number one, what you can do is go to properties, go to advanced system settings and um, under the performance tab, you have a settings option, you can go on that virtual memory so you you can have a custom size assigned and once you assign maybe uh, i have assigned 25000 that is roughly around 25 gb so the more the page size the more the breathing space your ram would have to run different games so this setting was particularly for tarkov so tarkov had some issues with my RAM so this is one of the tips that I can give you on uh, getting the best out of your RAM because uh, it, this is automatically managed by your OS so the OS uh, it it has access to page pool and non page pool areas in your RAM so this is something like you are allocating uh, a part of your hard drive to RAM so whenever the programs are running it it can you know make use of these areas so that's a way i mean that is one way where you can achieve um where you can add a bit of uh, paging paging or page file to your ram so now coming back to the second method you can go to nvidia control panel and um, so control panel is something where uh, you can have different settings turned on for uh, uh, based on your graphics card so if you are on amd you would be having background max frame rate uh, let it be on off CUDA all DSR DSR is something like uh, it lets you say your monitor supports 1080p or maybe 2k uh, it supports or it lets your resolution go up to 4k or 8k depending on the size that you would be giving here so 2160 is some, something like 4k if you enable it you will get a uh, an option so we are not going to do that over here but if you 
really want to have dsr on i would prefer having the 2x and 4x on and if your pc struggles a lot uh getting fps you can turn this on max frame rate uh i would prefer keeping it off but if you want to cap your frame rates maybe so i'm on a 240 hertz monitor so if i would turn this on i would cap this to somewhere like 240 fps so do keep in mind that if you cap it somewhere maybe if your monitor is on 240 and cap it to 60 you would get only 60 fps this is something uh like a driver based capping that works with nvidia and uh, i am using gsync uh, gsync monitor so i would be having gsync compatible setting on but i would prefer having fixed ref refresh rate if i would be playing any competitive games so uh, currently i am not so i would be having this turned on and um so mfa i would prefer having it off open gl you can have it to performance and the rendering gpu will be your your gpu power management mode now uh i would i would ha highly prefer you to have maximum perform performance turned on but <clears throat> at the same time your fans would be running up i mean your fans would make a lot of noise so uh at least that's the case with me um but there is another trick for that instead of having it on here what you can do is you can um you can select a particular item here so i have selected tarkov because i wasn't getting a lot of fps on that so i have selected that and um i have given prefer maximum performance here so only when i play tarkov it's going to have maximum performance turned on and on the global settings uh it's it's entirely up to you for me it's normal you might prefer maximum there and preferred refresh rate so this can either be application controlled if you are manually turning on the fps in game maybe you're limiting it to 60 or 144 it depends on that but i'm going to have it on highest available so uh shader cache size uh not really you know not really a fan of this but this can be driver default since the driver would allocate uh, caches for you and um this would be off uh, lod bias this would be on allow texture filtering quality if you are facing a lot of fps drops i would say have it on performance but if you do have a uh, a uh, an older gpu maybe you're on a 10 series gpu and you're trying to run warzone maybe a 1080p uh you can have this turned on but uh if you are maybe you you are having on a you are having a 20 series gpu you might consider having this on performance uh i'm not currently going to do that because i do have each and uh, uh each and every profile for different games so if you don't want to have this to performance or high performance you can go to program settings add whatever program that uh that you know make wants to make use of the settings and uh select it and then you can change the different items uh as shown here so those were the best settings that uh you know to get the most fps from your graphics cards and this does work only for um nvidia gpus uh tip number 3 would be please make sure you install the latest drivers so in order to do that you can open geforce experience and um go to drivers so this this shows that i'm on the i'm on the latest driver so you can also click on check for updates and it will let you know if there is an update ideally it should let you know uh each and every time you switch on shadow play but since there's no update for now it's not going to show that so in case there is any 
problem with the driver that you have installed currently you always have the option to reinstall the driver so those those are the three settings or those, those are three tips that i want to you know share with you guys to get the max max out of your gpu thank you for watching and if you have liked the video please do leave a like and uh, do comment what kind of videos you would like to watch and if you are new here please do consider subscribing to my channel that would help me a lot thank you